Namo Fa. Good morning. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The third mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by sexual misconduct, I vow to cultivate responsibility and learn ways to protect the safety and integrity of individuals, couples, families, and society. I'm determined not to engage in sexual relations without love and a long-term commitment. To preserve the happiness of myself and others, I'm determined to respect my commitments and the commitments of others. I will do everything in my power to protect children from sexual abuse and to prevent couples and families from being broken by sexual misconduct. We've been taking our Dharma lessons from a book by Ajahn Sundara called Seeds of Dhamma. This morning we're reading a section on working with anger. Witnessing the mind is not so simple. When we try to be a witness, a knower who watches and observes, it can take a while before we come to the place where the mind settles, where it is relaxed, present, and aware enough to actually begin seeing things in the moment. Even then, we might still not be skilled in seeing. It can take a long time. I spent years witnessing anger and letting it go, and it would come back. I would be aware of the experience of anger, and I would notice when I was free from anger. But it took a long time to come to the place where I actually saw anger as it was. Maybe some of you can relate to that. The feeling of anger can be so close to us, like our own skin. Sometimes we may have no idea that we are even angry. We may only become aware of it when it is extreme, when it is almost taking over the mind. So for a long time, we miss the subtle quality of anger that is part of our makeup. We haven't yet developed enough space to witness it. We are too much into being this anger, becoming this anger, without any distance between us and the feeling. When anger is still only a subtle thought, it can quickly and easily invade our minds. Our perceptions become angry. Our feelings become angry. Our reactions become angry. We become irritable. It all started with just a thought, a perception, or a memory. It could take a long time before we were able to get a handle on anger, greed, jealousy, or suffering. So for a long time, we assume that suffering is caused by something out there, outside me. How often do we see the suffering and its source, where it begins? For many years, we can respond to our suffering as if somebody is doing something to us. When somebody tells me, you're stupid, I get angry. When that person says, you're lovely, I get really happy. Who is reacting? Where does the reaction begin and end? We are doing the deepest work a human can do. We are unraveling the delusions of mind unraveling the blind habits and deluded perceptions. The Buddhist path teaches us how to go back to the source. We ask, who is feeling these feelings? On the path of awakening, we want to liberate our minds from reacting to life in ways that, do that perpetuate delusion and suffering. Are we committed to that? Even an utterly wretched mind can be changed into an awakened, happy, and liberated mind, whether feeling good, bad, or indifferent. We can learn to witness the workings of mind. Nothing is wasted on the Buddha's path. Each moment can be a complete moment of liberation. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful.
साथ 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 थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी दिस मॉर्निंग